uh, the environment. Okay, uh, so the, Manoj, can you please uh, explain about the R counter role for the benefit of our uh, Toastmasters? So it is, it is Sadashio, it is Sadashio. Okay, okay, uh, right, let me... Oh, sorry, okay. sorry, yeah. <clears throat> I saw it in the message. Um, good morning, uh, fellow Toastmaster and guest. I am serving you as a R counter today. The purpose of the R counter is to listen for overused words and filler words used as a crutch by anyone who speaks during the meeting. This includes like ah, uh, mm, you know, like so, and other similar sounds. I'll also li listen for uh, repeated words or phrases and any other verbal distractions. At the end of the meeting, I'll report the number of times these words are used by each speaker. This helps us become more aware of our speaking habits and work towards minimizing unnecessary words and sounds. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator, Sadiq Kumar. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Sadashiva. Uh, you filled in the place so uh, quickly and uh, uh, to make all of us understand how badly we are using the filler words. Thank you so much. Now I would like to call upon uh, our grammarian, uh, Toastmaster Santosh, who will explain about his role. Toastmaster Santosh. Hi, good morning, Toastmaster of the day. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. But today I am going to play the grammarian role. As grammarian, it is my responsibility to pay close attention to all the speakers, listening carefully, to the language usage, I will take note of any improper language as well as any outstanding words, quotes, sayings, or thoughts. As grammarian, it is my duty to introduce the word of the day. For today's meeting, the word is mindful, which is being present at the moment. So you are listening the speaker carefully or you emerged during the speech and you articulating in your mind. Example sentences. Mindful of the road conditions. She reduced her speed to 30 km per hour. Second example. In gathering the information about the service users, we were mindful of the variable details in the case files. So these are the two examples. Mm, for for me, Toastmaster Vignesh will support to uh, create in this uh, chat. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Vignesh. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Toastmaster Santosh, for uh, 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 letting us know about the, your role. Over to uh, Toastmaster of the day, uh, Dr. Uh, Toastmaster Dr. Murugeshan. Thank you. Thank you, Toastma Thank you, Toastmaster uh, Sadish Master, for introducing our uh, tag team. And now we are getting into the prepared speech. The first speaker is uh, Saravana. So he's going to take for the team collaborations. Before that, I want to introduce uh, the evaluator of this uh, first speaker, Toastmaster Sadish Menon, sir, to speak about the speech objective of this first speaker. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Murugesan. A very good morning to everyone. Uh, Toastmaster Saravanan is attempting his level one project three from the Pathways team collaboration. And the purpose statement of this project is for the member to practice using vocal variety or body language to enhance a speech. Notes for the evaluator. This is also for the benefit of the audience in general. About the speech, the member will present a well-organized speech on any topic. Watch for member's awareness or their intentional and unintentional movement of and body language. Note dis distracting moments 
as well as movements that enhance the speech. The speech may be humorous, informational, or any other style that the member chooses. Timer, please note that the time limit for the speech is five to seven minutes. Thank you, and back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Yeah, Toastmaster Sarwan is a senior talent developer, uh, senior talent developer with the seven years of uh, experience in the IT industry. A nice, friendly person, engaging more in creation ideas. Not only creating ideas, she is uh, sharing the ideas to everyone, including uh, this uh, Toastmaster Club, and also he is more active to share his thoughts and ideas in uh, social media platform also. And uh, over to the first speaker, Saravan, the stage is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day, Murugesh and sir. Good morning, fellow Toastmaster and guest. Today, I want to share a story that underscores the importance of teamwork and uh, how a team success is a reflection of each member contributions. In an organization that values teamwork, an interesting experiment was conducted. Two teams were formed, each constituting of three members, a fresher, a senior, and a team lead. They were given two tasks to complete. The first task was hiking, and the second task to complete the next day in the office. It was delivering an application in one day. The team that reaches the goal first would earn two points. The second team would get one point, and the team that didn't finish would get none. For the hiking task, team A was led by a fresher, while team B was led by a senior. The rule was that Team members had to follow their captain's instruction without giving their own opinions. Team A captain, being young and physically fit, decided that the best uh, strategy was to move uh, as fast as possible. He reached the top first, followed by his team members one by one. They earned two points for finishing first. On the other hand, Team B captain, the senior member, chose a different approach. He decided that the team should finish together, moving at the pace of early, uh, elderly person in the team. Although they finished last, they did so together and in one point. The next day, the team faced their second task delivering an application in one day. Unfortunately, the earlier elderly person from Team A, which led by young captain, was too exhausted from the hike and didn't show up for work. As a result, Team A struggled and couldn't complete the task. Team B, however, managed to deliver the application first and won the second task. This experiment teaches us the value, valuable lesson about teamwork. In the hiking task, Team A's strategy of moving quickly worked well for that specific challenge, but it didn't force a sense of unity. Team B, although slower, demonstrated the importance of supporting each other and working together as a cohesive unit. However, the exertion from the hike impacted the team A's performance in the second task. Highlighting for balance and consideration of each member well-being. In our professional lives, we often encounter situations where we need to collaborate with others whether we are freshers or experienced professionals, we all have unique strength to contribute by working together. We can achieve more than we ever could on our own. Remember, your team success is 
your success. Embrace the diversity of skills and experiences within your team. Support each other and work together uh, a common goal. Together we can reach new heights. So being mindful that teamwork will win will always uh, lead you to success with your team. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day, Murugesan uh, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Saravanan. So to emphasize the teamwork, how important it is and how we should be mindful about this uh, 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 collaboration. Now, we are... We are moving to the second uh, speaker, Vigneshwar. So the speech title is Declutter Your Mind. So before that, to evaluate this uh, second speaker, now I invite uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi to share the speech ob object objectives of the second speaker. Toastmaster Lakshmi. Thank you, sir. Uh, hi, Vignesh. Your speech details or you have to talk with the title, Declutter your, your Mind. Your project is Presentation Mastery, Level 1, Evaluation and Feedback. I'll be evaluating your vocal variety and the body language as well as the content. And your time would be 5 to 7 minutes. Please try to complete your speech within that because it will be evaluation. Um, my evaluation will be like in that uh, way as well. So over to you, Vigneshwar, and all the very best. I want to have an introduction about Vigneshwar. Vigneshwar is a civil engineer, 2020 developer. He is currently working as a software engineer at a gate buyer. He is passionate in architectural and automobile designing and also is a fitness freak. Over to uh, Vigneshwar uh, to start your speech. Thank you, T.M.O.D. for the warm introduction. So, declutter your mind. It is uh, one of the most uh, underrated topic we all need in today's first day's world. So basically, always we are accompanied by thoughts which are uh, which have distractions, we have emotions, and we have uh, we are not uh, sure about how to control our thoughts and emotions. All we need is to just focus on some four core principles uh, as. Uh, stated in this book. This is one of the best-selling books by the authors S.J. Scott and Brian Barry Davenport. So I will be quickly sharing a uh, slideshow. So I will try and see the principles and I quickly share some uh, topics on how to uh, declutter your mind in a just in a brief way within the time limit of the today's speech. So you could see from the uh, picture that how our mind is here cluttered and how we could effectively train our mind to become the declutter of the thing so that uh, we can be able to pick the things what we need at the time when we are needed. So just imagine if you're in a place and if you're surrounded by a pile of junk, so will you be able to find a, uh, any piece which is um, as big enough as the pencil or pen from that point? No. So same way, we all need to be uh, mindful and we should be always keep our place and surroundings in a decluttered manner. Basically, we need to arrange the things and we need to just keep on important things which we have, which we want, which we could use at a time. So if you have a desk, if you have a uh, working place, just keep the things in the desk, uh, what you need the most. So you may need a pen, you may need a paper, or some paper, some persons may need some paper clips. So you just try to keep those things in the desk instead of having a whole bunch of files, whole bunch of notebooks. Always uh, try to avoid those gems. If you have a bunch of books, you will be mostly using one book. So it can have a number of pages. So once a page is getting done, try to replace that with a new book or new notebook. 
So you should have filed 10 books, filed it in your desk. Have one simple notebook and have some one to two pens. So if you're going to use some colors to differentiate the things like uh, uh, to highlight something and take notes of it. So before uh, we go into the core principles of the topic, so focus on the present. So it is one of the most and foremost uh, uh, core principle we all need to be following in our day-to-day -day life. So always we are thinking about something. Uh, always we are thinking about the past, how we are in the past and how we want to be in the future. So just focus on the present. Leave the moment. So the, it was the most uh, saying, most thought, most quote, most practice which we, uh, which the uh, public speakers insist on and which the great leaders insist. Be live, focus on the present. So it was one of the main core principles. So let's say that uh, you are in a place and you are surrounded by thoughts and you are surrounded by negative thoughts. So what do you think? Uh, you think about the past. How this, how I was before, how I want to be in the future. So just try to avoid that one. Focus on the present moment or focus on the present task, what you're doing. So if you're focused on the present, automatically your mind will be focused and you don't have the tendency to uh, imagine any other things other than being truly present in the current moment. So we, we go to on the next topic that is eliminate negative thoughts. So always we are surrounded by negative thoughts. That is the, one of the most difficult situation we are in. So whenever we say any uh, thing in, our, uh, in front of us, we try to see the negative first than the positive. So I give you a good example of it today, today's work. So there was a teacher, it was going viral in our uh, social media platform. Uh, the teacher was teaching, he was writing the uh, tables from one to, ten, one to 10, any table. I think he, he was writing one into nine is equal to nine and two into nine is equal to nine. He purposely wrote 10 into nine is equal to 91. What that one means? And the students who were there, they immediately pointed to the teacher that you are wrong. How 10 into 9 will become 91? The teacher gave a very good example to all those things. So I was writing all the nine tables correctly, and you just pinpointed the negative uh, thing in that one. So just don't focus on the negative. Try to be positive in any situation you are in. So like we have, a, if you go to a marriage function, or if you go to any function, if uh, you will be having dinner or you'll be having lunch, instead of seeing the positive in the dinner, so you, you have faced some dishes which are not that much good. But what you tell to others when you talk about the function, you just tell about the one thing which was wrong and not about all the things which was good. So try to be positive and try to uh, do the next try to eliminate the negative thoughts. And we are always surrounded by overwhelm. So we don't have the, we always want the responsibility and commitment. We don't find a way to prioritize our thoughts and set priority goals. So always prioritize your thoughts based upon the work you do and set the realistic goals and manage the schedule. So if you have a big pile of, uh, big pile of work, Try to do it in a small chunk and be mindful of what you do and try to focus on the current situation and all that. Let me share a quick example of how the messy workplace. So if you are surrounded by a messy workplace, your mind will always be in a bad state. You can't able to focus. So instead, try to have the uh, tidy workspace. What is needed in your place? So same way we are working our uh, comp uh, we work in our laptops and all. So instead of having a messy desktop, try to have a simple desktop which you need the most. So that's all. And thank you for this opportunity. And over to you, TMO. Thank you. Thank you, Vigneshwar, Cosmos Vigneshwar, for uh, how to organize our uh, thoughts, how to organize uh, ourselves around us, so how to streamline our, ourselves, how to uh, put a path to that how to avoid negative thoughts, 
and uh, overall you've given your positive vibration uh, in your speech uh, now thank you so much now we move to the second speaker of the sorry third speaker of the day um, he is a external speaker and toastmaster sudhakar so to evaluate the third speaker i call upon sudha to read out the speech objectives of the third speaker good morning toastmasters and guests welcome toastmaster sudhakar for joining uh, attempting your speech in our club toastmaster sudhakar is presenting presentation mastery pathway level 1 project 4 the purpose of this project is to practice applying feedback uh, he has already presented a speech on a topic received feedback from an evaluator and incorporated the feedback into the second speech that he is presenting today timer please note timing is 5 to 7 minutes over to you toastmaster of the day so i before that i want before his uh, speech i want to introduce about toastmaster sudhakar he is a management and it professional with a almost a decade of experience currently working as a business analyst in concord uh, company former president of tcs matri toastmaster club kochi and he is also a secretary of uh, form rotrack club and he enjoys traveling a big uh, keyboard uh, player and uh, over to toastmaster sudhakar the stage is yours yeah so you have a slide uh, uh, do you need a co-host access to share the slide yeah it's done Um, let me know if I'm audible and visible, and you're able to see my screen. Yeah. Yes. So, very good morning, my fellow Toastmasters and guests. I'm going to give my uh, level four project, uh, level one project four speech today, which is about the rise of cyber crime in India. So, let me start with a small question: What is cyber crime? So, cyber crime yes. is something. Uh, yeah. someone hacking our system okay so cyber crime is an online fraudulent activity of which we uh, use computers or network devices basically it a crime that happens online right so what all the cyber crimes that you have heard about i just want to hear about your thoughts ott scam yeah online extortion yes exactly so there are various cyber crimes that has been increasing our days you have heard of uh, credit cards uh, credit card scam right so and software phishing and there are not one or two there has been more number of cyber crimes that is increasing every day a technology is increasing each and every day and at the same time it is giving rise to a darker side which is cyber crime and today i'm going to speak, speak about a specific cyber crime which is courier scam so i would like to understand did any of you uh, heard of courier scam or did you get calls from a courier company yes. i get two calls every week oh and sometimes i engage them by just carrying on with the conversation <laughs> okay that's it <laughs> yeah so the main reason i i picked this topic is i want to create awareness to the people and today i'm going to share my story and my experience with the courier scam i remember it exactly it was two months ago i got uh, it was around 11 am i got a call from uh, got a call and then i answered the call i heard an automated voice from the opposite end saying that your courier is on hold so you can pre uh, press this number so the reason i want to proceed is uh, because i had sent a courier to my family on the same week so i i got a same call two times um, before but i don't want to proceed but on that day you know some of i uh, proceeded with that call and then i was uh, heard a voice from a courier representative say your courier is on hold something i asked him a reference and then i was about to type the courier reference in the system but unfortunately uh, there was my one year daughter who was crying so i couldn't focus on searching about it so i'm still continuing on the call 
and he was giving all the details like your career is on hold and uh, these are the career details that information that he has given me like uh, he has given some details so you can raise an online complaint right so i thought there is something happening because the next week i booked a trip to kedarnath uh, i had given my uh, all of the details to an unknown travel agent so uh, i was overthinking like he could have shared some details or something would have happened right so i was noting all of these things like yeah, we have given details like department name parcel date and he was telling that uh, we have sent courier to thailand i was keep on saying it i didn't send any courier on that one right so then he tried to convince me saying someone may misuse your other card and nowadays we share other card details everywhere so i thought it could be somewhat true right so and he has also given the parcel counter like five passport three credit card and one laptop so these are the details that he has given me and finally after a few minutes of conversation he told you can launch an online complaint for that you need to connect with a skype call i used to i usually don't attend this camp calls but on that day something has convinced me that it's kind of just a formality to lodge an online complaint so i said okay and the below is the skype id that he has given me and once i enter the skype id i see that everything was frame like it was a delhi cyber crime right you can see the logo and this was the number which i got so I, he asked me about some basic details and he uh, told it's just a kind of a formal complaint so conversation has started and he asked me to share the other details so i, I was sh- share my other details as well on that day and then i was continuing with the conversation and after few minutes i realized it was a scam uh, because he came to a conversation of asking for the bank accounts right at that moment i realized it was a complete scam and he was it's like a threatening after a few a few minutes of conversation it's like a threatening call right? so then i realized it could be a scam i told him i can handle it here itself in chennai only and because he was uh, asking me to you need to come to delhi right so then i told i can't come to delhi alone whatever it is i can handle it here and then i disconnected that call so after that moment and then i went and watched a cyber crime complaint uh, or this uh, is, you can see the website here or you can call the toll free number so whenever you face this incident or you have become a victim so you can launch a cyber crime complaint here and then i went and searched on the internet about this scam and then i came to know all of these things like you can see a uh, chennai woman lost around 1.5 crore and there was a ceo from bangalore right who lost around 2.3 crores and also an rbi officer who lost 24.5 lakhs to the courier scam and this is one of the story of a uh, a uh, woman from delhi sounded to hear woman so she was digitally arrested and she was not allowed to move out of the room for more than 12 hours right so this is the scam that is happening currently which most of the people are not aware of so their aim is to not make you think and they will create a sense of urgency uh, saying that they not allow you to think and they will convince you to proceed and make you to admit that you have did this crime So in case if you are getting those calls the first thing is don't answer that call and nowadays even true caller cannot identify it as scam right uh, there there are various ways that they are calling you right so once you get those calls you can lodge a cyber crime complaint or you can call the helpline number and don't give any of the personal information and don't engage them further right? and don't share any otps with them so the main reason i don't have any financial loss but i was emotionally affected it took two or three days for me i was thinking i've shared my other details what i could do with my other details right even though i don't have a financial loss i was emotionally affected because of that so what can we do to stop all these cyber crimes my opinion i have three things so one is our cyber security infrastructure should be developed and second is there should be a strong data protection law and the last and most important thing is people don't have an awareness so try government should try to create an awareness about the cyber crimes that is happening uh, can any of you guess uh, from where did i took the screenshot okay so this is a screenshot i took from uh, jamtara series uh, so after all these incidents when i was discussing with my friends and they suggested there is a series in netflix about jamtara so jamtara is the cyber phishing capital of india where most of the scams related to jamtara so you can go and watch the series so you will get to know how the cyber crimes are happening so thank you uh, for the opportunity thank you all
Thank I would you. just want to mention uh, a couple of things since Sudhakar touched upon a very pertinent subject. If a government wants to get in touch with you, government agencies don't get in touch with you over the phone. Okay? They will come to you only through a registered email if they have to send a notice. Registered post. They don't even... It is. You can send it on an email, but technically, if you get an income tax notice, it always comes on a registered post. If you get a notice from customs saying that there's some problem with the package, it comes as a registered post from customs. And if somebody does need to arrest you, they will no, don't they will not call you first and say we are coming to arrest. Okay, they will land up at your door. And don't underestimate the government. The government knows every everything who you are, where you are, what you do. So don't fall prey to all these phone calls which says that we are calling from so-and-so department and all. The official communication for any government notice is registered email. Oh, sorry, registered post. Okay. So please, be, if you keep that simple thing in your mind, I think you can just avoid all this. And if you have the time, you can just engage them in a playful conversation for as long as you want. Thank you and back to you. Toastmaster Thank you, Sudhakar, for giving a awareness to each and everyone even i have got uh, two three calls regarding it because since i already know about this uh, thing which is happening as a scam so we are uh, more cautious about how we have to manage the things or without knowing these things you no know, if we get uh, more tense and it is also blend with the theme of the day that we should be aware in each and everything and uh, i want to come to the theme uh, this is the second incident, which I was uh, around 17 years after completing my school. I, this is the first time I am coming to Chennai um, for writing my entrance exam. Uh, so one of my senior room was in uh, Madras Medical Hostel. It was a hostel. At the time, the bus stand was there opposite to the hostel in Paris. So we directly get on the bus with my, one of my friends. Both we get on from the bus and we took uh, the room with him. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's staying in this uh, hostel. So we don't know anyone in Chennai. So first experience in Chennai. So we took uh, his home and morning we wrote the exam. Even if we want to move out because we don't know how the Chennai looks. So we are more excited to see that. So we get down and we both only we get down and we moved little forward and we went to one bazaar. This, they told this now called Burma Bazaar. So we, uh, we uh, I found that it looked like a carnival. Each and every day seems to be a carnival. So, so many shops were there. And uh, it pulled me, attracted me. And I went to one of the shops. Uh, the watch, different design watches were there. And the shopkeeper uh, is pulling us. And I asked for the watch, what is the rate uh, for that? He immediately took that watch and hand out to my hand and uh, told, this is a Singapore watch. So, the actual price is 5000 and uh, we are giving only for 2000 and uh, very good watch. Then uh, I don't have the idea to buy or purchase anything. Just have a, uh, uh, a curiosity to ask. Then uh, I asked for that, uh, can you give for 500? Then he immediately uh, told, Uruku Pudusa. So I nodded. Then at that moment, at that moment, one guy who came and asked for the cooling glass and he we are returned, he returned back. This shop guy gave a nice slap to that guy. Why you are coming for shopping like that? So I understood the next slap is for me because definitely I can't return the watch. So suddenly he asked uh, to me, so what rate do you ask? So I told 500. Actually, we won't give less than a thousand rupees. So I am ready to give uh, you just to take it for 500. No way, I have only 700 rupees. So I don't have the intention to buy also. No other go. So I gave 500 rupees and got the watch. And I know I was, I was disappointed. And I know I was uh, thinking I was cheated. So I went little away with the watch. I went went little mood away around 500 meters and returned back so i was no, not in the mood to further move up so i thought we will go to the hostel room i moved on the other side of the uh, road and uh, when he returned back i 
so the fellow who got given the slap and the person who got the slap both are talking nicely to each other then only i realized ivana wala so this is the new experience i got first in chennai uh, the thing which i want to reveal is uh, we should aware of the things before going to uh, to explore the things uh, that is the thing which i want to share with you let us move on to the second round as a table topic session so this is otherwise called the impromptu stage and the guests have the role to play in this and uh, today's uh, table topic uh, master is uh, those master uh, sadish menon sir uh, he is uh, well known and he is uh, our past president of the club he is a pivot and uh, is a uh, acts for our uh, club backbone for our club and i want uh, just a minute and uh, sadish menon sir is uh, had uh, played a various role in those masters from district level area district uh, level and uh, he inspired each and every one of the members i uh, to a great level and he is one of my he called mentor for our uh, group and uh, such a inspiring inspiring personality which influences many of our uh, members and uh, i invite uh, toastmaster uh, uh, table topping master sadish menon sir to share the session of this uh, second row thank you toastmaster of the day toastmaster murugeshan for the warm introduction uh, table topics so before i get into the session uh, table topics for those of you who don't know about it is a proprietary word to toastmasters international that is why when you look at any toastmasters international publication table topics will have an r on top of it because it's a registered word the english word or the normal english word for table topics is impromptu speaking now what does this do in impromptu speaking segment in table topics uh, everyone has the chance to speak for 1 to 2 minutes on a topic that will be handed out to them now you can speak for the topic you can speak against the topic or you can speak something irrelevant which doesn't even concern the topic so it's not important that you should only speak for or you should only speak against you can speak anything that comes to your mind the intention of this segment is that people should speak okay to get over your stage fright okay to get over your uh, inhibitions of starting a conversation with a new person uh, to speak about something which you are not fully aware of and if you look in our daily lives we encounter all these situations on a daily basis going and speaking to somebody who we don't know okay? standing in front of an audience and speaking and we are very un we are not very comfortable about it uh, being asked about something for which we don't have the complete information but we can't say no i don't know anything you have to say something so table topics helps you get there so i will be uh, the what we'll do is uh, we'll first uh, i'll first be calling people who are not taking any roles in the meeting today because people who take roles in the meeting have already will already get a chance to speak so i'll uh, kind of keep them as my second preference i'll go for people who have not uh, having a chance to speak especially the guest uh, any guest who want to kind of attempt i know yeah. jayshankar you yeah. raise your hand but i'll come to you later guest yes anyone who wants to speak that is that is sir yes i will tell I'll, i can speak okay ding vijay so we'll start with you then i'll come to jay shankar and then i'll come to anand so ding vijay your topic uh, for the day is ignorance is bliss okay ignorance is bliss Vijay, yeah, got it. Right. Definitely, uh, I would say I agree with this uh, topic. What I got to got to do to speak on ignorance is the, definitely a bliss because many times we have seen that uh, people who who know very well uh, 
on some subject or or about life or anything uh, if they are working on some project or anything if they have some idea they are experienced they think a lot you know while while doing some work while starting their journey because they have so much experience or and they know so much about it that they think that where to start and they look for perfection they look to do it more better way but person who is uh, completely unaware that uh, uh, and he got something new then he he does not have to think at all about the performance he just have to give his best shot so uh, in that way ignorance is 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 really a bliss for for that person because whatever he will do he will it is it is great for him because he is thinking that he is challenging himself and he is doing whatever he he was not able to do earlier he is doing that and he is attempting to do that is only great for him so he will not think twice and he will just bang on he will just go for it so so i feel that ignorance is 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 great in doing anything in starting anything it is it is great thing to uh, and whenever you want to start anything new never think only just uh, have courage to have believe in yourself and just go for it and you can do your best in life so that is it from my side it is that thank you thank you to smart uh, the digvijay that's a very good take on uh, ignorance if you don't know about something uh, we will be very free to go ahead and do something and if you see in today social media because there's a lot of information around us a lot of us are very afraid compared to what we were a couple of years back thank you so i'll now come to uh, jay shankar so jay shankar your uh, your topic is has social media made us more independent or has it made us more afraid social media has it made us more independent or has it made us more afraid those my suggestion yeah thank you table topic master yes social media which is a very uh, powerful medium for all the uh, peoples out the world today uh, tell me a person who is not having uh, account on facebook or twitter or linkedin yes facebook is Uh, i mean the social media is definitely a very useful um part of everybody's life but the unawareness within the social media is an addictness which the people get into for the matter not only social media any habit uh, without consciousness anyone do that will make it as an addiction i seen people Uh, not only the normal uh, people like uh, even the uh, big shots when when i say big shots who are uh, running a company or something like that they also spend a lot of time on checking the uh, facebook twitter for no reasons for that uh, they would spend at least 2 to 3 hours per day and the time spent on that and the mental agony on that and the concentration diversions so these are all something that which needs to be taken care that is a balanced uh, uh, statement i would say that uh, social media is uh, very powerful and which is connecting all the people across the world and at the same time it is risk if the individual is not going to have an eye over the uh, i mean like the real uh, fact about it like uh, the individual has to take care of uh, uh, maintaining his uh, accounts and uh, whom he is interacting with what to tell what not to tell what photos should share especially uh, children and girls have to be very careful about uh, dealing with the social media awareness and clarity and aim to be on a social media is a grand grand success and it will yield a lot of uh, potential output for an individual's growth in his personal life and supporting and it will help him to support Uh, to the growth of others as well thank you table topic master thank you to master jay shankar uh, very well said about the uh, pros and cons of uh, social media uh, to master guest anand yes sir uh, anand you have heard the story about the hare and the tortoise right yes yeah so in today's world yeah your topic is in today's world what is preferable 
being a hare or being a tortoise okay okay i can say that in today's world it is a very fast world right so if you see that in any industry let us take the it industry or if you see that uh, 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 a mobile industry there is a uh, immediately there is a uh, right there is no gap today one model is coming day, uh, 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 tomorrow there is a uh, different model is coming day by day the, it is a very fast and if you take a long ago if you take any medications paracetamol is introduced after a long gap after 30 years 40 years one more uh, ibuprofen has introduced that is a traditional gap but today's contest it is a very fast so my what my uh, uh, suggestion to the world is that we have to go in a slow and steady phase slow not very fast right too much of bombarded in information is a bombarding all around if you see that but we can't be able to focus on to the narrow stimulus that was happening even in today's contest if you go to the organization more than uh, managers most of the managers they are giving too much of work multitasking the multitasking that reduces the employee productivity as per the st gallup study so whatever we do it is not like a tatais well let us do the very calm concentrated you attention to the stimulus let us accomplish that task very thing even when you read please focus only on the book what you are going to read don't take the mobile phone and giving answer to the mobile phone you you can be very fast but what about the outcome what about the productivity that matters whatever we do the most important thing is that outcome is the most important if you go very fast when there is no outcome what is the what is the meaning so let us do anything slow and steady if you if you rise up bow uh, right what will happen there is a resting phase if you release with the full energy the tremendous amount of potential energy is released so over to you table topic master thank you toast master anand very well said about how we need to balance between the hare and the tortoise muttu uh, you want to attempt the next topic muttu are you there uh yeah i am here so sure. you are okay taking the next topic uh yeah i will try i will try now okay i'll, I'll it will be a very simple topic something that i think most of us can relate to so muttu your uh, topic is uh, can we ever go back to a life without social media can we ever go back to a life without social media toast master muttu sorry uh, in between call uh, call uh, kid yeah, i will continue now uh, i think uh, we can't uh, go back with the uh, social media uh, because it's uh, it's making influence people uh, so everyone watching every day at least one hour two hours everyone will watch uh, it's helping the marketing our products so it will be uh, increase in the future uh, is my opinion uh, so we can uh, go back uh, without social media thank you uh, thank you thank, uh, you. thank, thank you. you thank you thank you, for thank you very much uh, for your uh, take on it uh, anyone else wants to attempt we have two more topics anybody wants to take it up it's a good good opportunity to sharpen your impromptu skills sarvan and you already spoken as a speaker let's see if somebody else yeah manoj manoj 
Yeah. Okay, Manoj. So your your topic uh, for the day is is the journey more important than the destination? Is the journey more important than the destination, Toastmaster Manoj? Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Sadi sir. Uh, thank you. Good morning, all. So, is very good topic. Is the journey more important than destination? So, according to me, uh, journey is wonderful. See, in journey, uh, in the, uh, when you are going on a path uh, in the to reach the destination, there will come the challenges, difficulties, failures. So, you have to uh, uh, cross all these hurdles to reach to the destiny. And these all hurdles will make you tough. This will make you mentally strong. So when you at uh, when you reach your destiny, uh, destiny, uh, you will be you will be have all kind of experiences. The failure you 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 have looked upon the failures, the challenges. Then you will be a very confident to uh, reach the destiny, and you will enjoy the journey which you have uh, walked through to reach the destiny. So according to me, destiny is more important. Uh, as journey is most important than the destiny. Thank you all. Thank you very much for giving me opportunity. Thank you, uh, Toastmaster Manoj, uh, for uh, speaking on that topic and sharing your vision. Uh, Raju, you want to take the last topic? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So, Raju, your uh, your topic for the day is what is the most fearful thing that you have ever done in your life? What is the most fearful thing that you've done in your life? Toastmaster Guest Raju. Uh, uh, thanks for the topic, sir. So, yeah, the thing is, uh, when, uh, yeah, I, when I was uh, searching for uh, about the life actually what is this life uh, where we are going and and we, i have a lot of questions uh, on this so uh, the day when i met uh, my friend once actually he is going to some uh, ashram so i went there uh, uh, i met some uh, uh, masters so uh, then meditation actually uh, they asked me to sit for meditation and they also with me along with me so there uh, the the moment right uh, when i sit there i i didn't know that uh, around some 20 minutes or 30 minutes uh, i don't know where i am uh, so i i i didn't uh, feel anything outside so that is where i felt happy and uh, from that day onwards i started uh, uh, reading some uh, 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 these books, spiritual books and all. So that made me, uh, uh, I, I started looking uh, life in a different way. Like uh, I am just comparing every whatever I am doing, I am comparing with nature. Actually, what is nature is giving us? So is it expecting something before uh, uh, giving, uh, for example, if you take a, a plant or any any anything like a sun, or uh, nothing is, uh, uh, is, everything is giving something to us. So we are also part of the nature. So uh, if we compare that way, uh, the, I started looking that way. Actually, that is what they taught me uh, in the ashram. Uh, and I, I looked at uh, in that direction and I I, I, I slightly, uh, I almost changed my the perspective of life. Uh, and I'm doing, I'm following that way. And it is making me happy. Uh, so that is the best thing uh, which I have uh, known. Uh, that's all. Right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Raju, for uh, speaking very well on the topic and sharing your experiences. Uh, so this brings us to the end of our table topic session. We would have continued even more, but in the interest of time and for the future segments, uh, the upcoming segments to get completed. Effectively, we'll be uh, closing the session here. Thank you, everyone, for having participated so enthusiastically and uh, for sharing your views on the topics that you were asked to speak on. With Thank this, you. I the control back over to the Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Dr. Murugesh. Thank you to the uh, Table Topic Master, Sadish Menon, sir, for provoking uh, the thinking to 
various aspects towards the team or opposite to the team. Um, let us move on to the back to a team again. Uh, this is the third incident which I had experienced. And uh, almost I was practicing uh, almost seven years in Velich, seven or eight years uh, was in Velich. So I had the mind to uh, purchase a property uh, uh, in Velich itself. So the problem arises is there is a huge gap between my budget and the market uh, uh, value the land is going in. So the, it is not uh, uh, coming to, to uh, towards closer. So we working on so many times we got uh, failure. So finally I got on uh, uh, property. It's very closer to our MRTS uh, station, which is uh, which was uh, the government is allotting to the slum clearance. So it's they have the patta. So we uh, we try to uh, make that uh, property because it is definitely going to be a commercial property and also it develops as commercial. So I purchased uh, the two cents of land around 800 square feet with the building, so around 40, 48 lakhs. Then uh, I given for the rent for uh, 30,000 rupees. And within six months, I got a notice that uh, this property belongs to a railway. So kindly evacuate uh, the uh, things within a month. So we got shocked. And uh, those who uh, purchased like me, you know, we assembled together like minded of people. So we put an advocate uh, for this to fight against this because we, we don't know. Uh, uh, that because we realized it was patta was there, everything was there, so uh, there won't be any issues. And uh, the final judgment uh, came the, on the day I went for the court, and uh, they told uh, that this is the sentence what they go. So the allotment was given to the peoples for the for the slum peoples as a domestic usage, but it was totally commercial, converted to a commercial. Number one, number two, they insisted this this important point which I want to stress is unawareness. Unawareness is not an excuse, and it is under the IPC section of 67. So, in order to demolish the property within a week, and the property was demolished, and I leave with no penny, no compensation. The thing I want to tell is, even it is a regular property, so without awareing these things, we purchase. And my lawyer also protests that. These people are innocent people who purchase after this, after that, and uh, uh, they there is no public notice, there is no propaganda that this property belongs to railways. But uh, we should be aware of the things and uh, what is what the property is, and we should be more cautious, which is going around. That is an important thing which I learn a lesson. So, but it's a huge, the money which we have lost or the amount I have paid for that is huge only. But no other go that uh, this had happened in my uh, experience. And uh, let us move on to the third round. This is the evaluation round. And uh, this is uh, the, and uh, I welcome to Gade for this uh, session. I welcome our general, eval general evaluator of the day. Uh, Toastmaster Sadis Kumar sir uh, to for uh, call the team for uh, evaluation of this uh, peace session. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Murgesan. Uh, I can relate to what you said about the uh, event uh, that you went through, how painful it would have been for you and uh, your family after uh, I can visualize the place also how it was and uh, how it has changed today. Yes, it was a very difficult experience, but yes, as you rightly said, even legally, we are supposed to be aware of what we are doing. I mean, that, and there is no excuse for that. Thank you so much uh, for enlightening us about awareness after so much of painful experience you went through. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Murugesan. Uh, in the general evaluation, uh, I would uh, present uh, my brief report on evaluation and then I'll also ask uh, the tag team to uh, give a report. Uh, the meeting has started. Meeting room was opened at 6.55 a.m. And uh, we Sakish, started. Uh, you will have to first call the speech evaluator, then the tag team, and then your report. Okay, sorry. Yeah, uh, I would invite uh, 
speech evaluator uh, first speech evaluator uh, dr sati uh, sorry uh, tmod uh, sorry dtm satish menon very sorry about it dtm satish menon for the evaluation of speech by uh, well uh, sir vanan yeah thank you thank you thank you general evaluator toastmaster uh, satish kumar good morning again toastmaster sarvanan your speech was about using vocal variety and body language to express a story or a thought or an opinion what you started with was a very relevant topic on teamwork and how one kind size does not fit all or one style of leadership is not something which can be used across it all depends on situation to situation like you took on two simple situations about climbing a hill versus doing a programming job and how you said that in both the cases in one case the team performed well the other case the team did not perform well though the players were the same it's a very interesting it's a very informative and it's a very uh, pointed kind of example to show how you need to work together in some cases and how in some cases you can go and take up speed so basically the question about whether you want to be a hare or you want to be a tortoise or you want to be somewhere in between what i liked well about your speech was the way you de delivered it it was a very simple speech it was an example which members could relate to and that's very important for any speech that it should be relatable to everybody it should not be something which only i know and the others don't know the flow of the speech was very good so in the way you took the examples and you explained it i think everybody i at least could understand the difference in both the cases and how leadership styles matter in every situation and where one style cannot be applied across every situation so kudos to you you had very good the command over the language very simple language you were confident in the way you were speaking so we couldn't see any uh, hesitation in the way you were speaking the flow of thoughts were very concise and clear so that helped to give a very good speech where you can improve upon is this speech was all about body language and vocal variety so whenever you are speaking you could have brought a lot of that vocal variety into the picture like example when the people were climbing the hill or the time when somebody fell ill when they were trying to do a programming job because they had just uh, climbed the hill a day before so this speech has to have a lot of vocal variety coming into it and also there was i couldn't see too much of body language in the entire speech so i would say that if you want to make it better please repeat the speech and incorporate a lot of vocal variety and body language and this will go to the next level but overall a very good speech and uh, i look forward to you giving a speech and making it a bit more interactive in terms of using body language and vocal variety and helping us get the message in a very much more effective manner on how teamwork is different for every situation thank you and back to you general evaluator thank you uh, dtm satish menon i and now i would like to invite uh, 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 evaluator number 2 uh, toastmaster lakshmi mm. thank you general evaluator my target speaker is tm vigneshwar uh, tm vigneshwar your speech was so fantabulous and um, i thoroughly inspired by your speech content usage of words presentation i think uh, most of them would have felt the same uh, your pictorial representation was so clear and neat as if a non english speaker attends your session he or she understands the content through your representation of uh, presentation good usage of words that are uh, live the moment be live focus on the present it shows your great dedication and effort to deliver your speech in a structured way area of improvement 
please don't generalize the statement as you have mentioned that we all are structured. I mean, we all are surrounded by negative thoughts as not all the people in that way, right? Instead, you could have used most of us. Most of us are surrounded by negative, negative thoughts. Body language and vocal variety can be enhanced as that is your objective of the speech today. And uh, time limit, you have exceeded the time limit as uh, timer has shown the red card. Uh, try to avoid the verbal passes while delivering your speech as audience may get distracted from your speech. Except those observations, everything was so clear uh, and uh, your presentation was so neat and all the very best for your upcoming speech. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, uh, uh, Toastmaster Lakshmi. Now I invite uh, Toastmaster Sudha to give her evaluation report. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and guests. It was pleasure evaluating our target speaker, Toastmaster Sudhagar. Toastmaster Sudhagar, your speech was a rip to cybercrime. Rip, I also mean relatable, informative, and painted a picture. Wonderful it was. Uh, when you opened the speech, the image captured my attention. Oh, what is this dark man doing there? And you opened with a question, what is cyber crime according to you? I started thinking, very captivating opening. Then you slowly uh, started with icebreaker. Have you guys encountered courier scam? And all of us nodded yes, and we can relate to it. Uh, there you connected with all of us. Very informative, somewhere it aligned with our theme of today. Awareness is important. You got that awareness for us. Uh, the story unfolded. This transition is very smooth. You started with your story, the courier scam. Uh, picture speaks more than thousand words. You demonstrated it for us. At relevant pictures that you had, we had a glance, but we were keen on listening to you because your content is so powerful. And what I like is, it's very informative. Towards the end, you showed us this is the spot to connect or person to report when you encounter such problem. You gave a mail ID and a contact detail. That's very informative. And towards the closure, we were just listening to your story. You brought in some uh, example that's happening around in the globe. In Chennai, it happened. Uh, somewhere in Delhi, uh, this camp happened. That's adding more value to what you're talking. Uh, it made it so believable. And uh, we came uh, in contact with reality. Quite interesting. Towards the end, you're very smart because you know all of us are binge watchers. So you said, Watch this Netflix program so you can get more details. I think that is a brilliant attempt. Sharing some information in this five to seven minutes, but prompting the audience to know more about it and you are giving a source of information for that. And as a speaker, you wanted to improvise on two things. Uh, your interesting opening and good body language. I think you attempted both. One suggestion could be having camera at eye level or above the eye level makes it easier to connect with audience personally. Uh, this is one recommendation I would suggest to you. But otherwise, in summary, I would say it is a rip to cyber crime. Relatable, informative, and picturesque. Thank you for that, Toastmaster Sudhakar. Thank you. Over to you, General Evaluator, Toastmaster Satish. Thank you so much, Sudha, for your evaluation. Uh, uh, now I will present my general evaluator's report. Uh, the meeting room is opened at 6.55 a.m. promptly, and the meeting was started uh, by uh, SAA on uh, at about uh, 7.05 a.m. 
uh, GTM Alex, the uh, chair of the meeting, has uh, started with a, a inspiring story about uh, Olympian uh, uh, Turkish sharpshooter Yusuf Dikey, who won a silver medal with his casual approach but committed approach to reach that level and uh, uh, win a medal, silver medal. It's a very inspiring story. And well, uh, and uh, then uh, DTMLX also has welcomed all the uh, guests and the new members, new member uh, Karthik. And then it uh, proceeded with uh, uh, TM Wadi, uh, Dr. Murugesan, and uh, the theme of the day he has declared is uh, as awareness. And all the topics that are spoken uh, today by all the prepared speeches are also uh, very relevant to the topic, uh, theme of the day, uh, which is awareness. And uh, all the speakers made us mindful about the topic they are speaking, like uh, uh, DM uh, Toastmaster Sarvana and Toastmaster Vigneshwar and Toastmaster Sudhakar. They have really valuable and uh, relevant topics especially on awareness, especially on the insights into mindfulness and also about cyber crimes and how to protect ourselves. And again, apart from that, now uh, TM body Dr. Murugeshan also has told us our story of how why sh we should be aware of the uh, surroundings, aware of the place where we are going so that we uh, can protect ourselves. And uh, it continued with the uh, DTM Satish Menon conducting the tabletop uh, topics, which are very apt to the theme of the day. And then all the evaluators gave valuable suggestions and uh, fantastic uh, feedback about the uh, speeches today. Uh, that is uh, uh, it. And we had uh, 21 uh, total uh, uh, participants in this meeting, and uh, we had uh, four to five guests. Thank you so much. This is uh, the end of uh, general evaluation report. Over to you, um, Toastmaster of the day, Dr. Uh, Murgesen. Thank you, general evaluator, uh, Toastmaster Sadis Kumar, for guiding through this evaluation session. Now I choose that uh, facilitator poll. Please share to your audi audience. So poll. Uh, tag, tag team report. We didn't have the didn't tag team have the tag problem. Team so, Quick uh, tag team report, please. Tag team. So kindly yeah, yeah. give tag team kindly give the report. Yeah, yeah time account account agreement. Quick report. We are uh, almost uh, hearing eight fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Once again, uh, in the meantime, uh, sorry, in the meantime, uh, Paul must uh, after the tag team, you can launch the poll. Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, good morning, Toastmasters and guests. Uh, here coming the timer log. Uh, for the prepared speech section, Toastmaster Saravanan took 4 minutes 45 seconds. Toastmaster Vigneshwar took 7 minutes 14 seconds. Toastmaster Sudagar took 7 minutes 32 seconds. And in the table topics, guest Digvijay Kumar took 1 minute 42 seconds. Toastmaster Jay Shankar took 2 minutes 15 seconds. Guest Anand took 2 minutes. 25 seconds. Guest Mutu spoke for 45 seconds. TM Manoj spoke for 1 minute 7 seconds. Guest Raju spoke for 1 minute 57 seconds. And in the evaluation sessions, DTM Satish Menon took 3 minutes and 7 seconds. Toastmaster Lakshmi took 1 minute 42 seconds. Toastmaster Sudha took 3 minutes 13 seconds. Thank you and over to you, TM Mutu. This is Sadasim, and I'm going. To, I'm playing a role of uh, our counter today. Uh, let me provide the report. Toastmaster Saravanan, uh, our counter is one, and Toastmaster Vigneshwar um, has mentioned uh, has used "a" ah in four plus times, "um" five plus times, "so" four plus times, "bunch" three times, "most" three plus times. So, uh, T M Sudhakar, the act used uh, or uh, Five plus, um, two times, so three times, right, 
four times and uh, toastmaster uh, dr murugeshan has used 3 plus hours um 4 plus times so one time uh, toastmaster sadish menon sir uh, during his evaluation and other uh, times he used four r and uh, during uh, uh, table topics toastmaster tikvijay uh, used four r's two r r two times toastmaster jay shankar used five times r and uh, guest toastmaster anand used four times r uh, guest muttu used four times r everyone two times repeatedly toastmaster manoj used five times one time so you will two times toastmaster uh, guest raju used uh, five plus times r and uh, write two times uh, general evaluator sadish kumar sir used two times r evaluation uh, evaluator 2 lakshmi used four times r evaluator 3 sudha used four times r and one time so thank you over to you so okay. so the report uh, over to grammarian uh, yes grammarian uh, this is my grammarian report so the first speaker one focused on the collaboration of the teamwork so that is a nice one and uh, second one is uh, toastmaster vigneshwar focused on the mindful speech present at the moment and the speech three is the um, awareness about the cyber security so these these are the three highlights in the speeches and overall meeting focused on the mindfulness present at the moment Uh, for a short a report from me uh, be present at the moment what you need in the field so the overall meeting focused on this uh, mindfulness yes thank you over to you toast most of the day thank you tag team for uh, giving a elaborate a valuable report uh, for the entire session and uh, now uh, i choose a facilitator to launch the poll uh, to share with the audience Yes, done. So let us uh, move on. This time is just a uh, next step. Able to hear? What? We can hear you. Yes, yes. So this time is there, sir. I can proceed with it. No, you can. Yes. So, uh, which I, we are coming to the last session, the final thing. and uh, the main thing which we have discussed today is the awareness awareness is the key and uh, we should not uh, close your eyes uh, like a kitchen no as the world is dark so we should be uh, alive and the concept of our uh, thing is the awareness and our uh, club is also no awakefulness so, uh, that is uh, uh, wake up is not only for the wake up during the morning the entire you should be awake uh, the so so that we should be more cautious for each and everything and should be uh, mindfulness towards this uh, uh, life then uh, we are moving to uh, hand over the control of the meeting to the president thank you uh, thank you toastmaster urgesh So, big round of applause to all the role players, uh, particularly Toastmaster of the Day, Table Topic Master, and the General Evaluator. A big round of applause. All right. So, uh, Vignesh, are we? How are we on polls? Yeah, we are eight more to vote. All right. Uh, so, we will have one uh, guest feedback. Other guests who are in the guest group can uh, post their feedback there also. So, can can I have one guest feedback? In the meantime, I request you to kindly vote. anyone who would like to give a feedback yeah uh, yeah sudhakar here let's see yeah yes sir uh yeah it was a good meeting thanks for uh, giving me the opportunity so initially when uh, i got the meeting details i thought it was in the evening and then yesterday only i realized it was morning uh, hats off to all you people for i mean we can bring two or three people but all of the club members have been gathering together because since you have a purpose to 
me it was master so it was really awesome and i had a wonderful experience with you all hope i can join in the upcoming meetings thank you thanks uh, thanks a lot sudagar uh, keep coming to wake up chennai yeah wake up 7am yeah and uh, also i would like to uh, congratulate our first time role player karthik so thanks karthik for donning the role of a timer for the very first time congratulations thank you yeah and uh, vigneshwar how are we yeah we are still six more to go or could i think we can go ahead with that yeah we are running short of time also yeah sure so the results are the best role player yes so table topic master dtm satish menon and best tag role player is timer toss master karthik best speaker is toss master vignesh sir best evaluator toss master sudha and best table topic speaker is toss master jayshan Yeah, all right it. fantastic so congratulations to all the winners uh, let's have a group picture i request you all to to share your videos so comfortable and i will yeah. tell three to one and then so here let's go can i go ahead and with the picture yeah go ahead yeah 3 2 1 yeah it's done thank you with this uh, i adjourn meeting number 282 i'm sure uh, next week is going to be an exciting uh, week uh, so let's gather for 283 meeting next wednesday 7 am until then goodbye have a great week ahead thank you yeah uh, uh... DTMLX, uh, I would like to just have a chat with the uh, guests uh, for a minute. Um, yeah. yeah, all the guests who I would like to have uh, some more information about Toastmasters or Wake Up Chennai in particular, kindly stay back. We will be here for a while. Hello. Yeah, yes, sir. yeah uh, i mean uh, uh, i request uh, first thing is to post their numbers in the chat box and uh, also yes. if you would like to know any other information any doubts they have i would like to just have a chat maybe i can connect later also over phone but as we are on the yeah, yeah. meeting yeah uh, so uh guest akash still there akash you are on mute like to ask anything go our guest prasanna Yeah, it looks like uh, they are not on the not in the meeting. Guess Prasanna. Guess Tokash. Okay, they are not there. I think uh, uh, Alex. So we will move on. Uh, we can thanks uh, the meeting. Thanks everyone. Thanks Alex Shadis. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks. See you next thank week. You, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.